every tree on my side. Well, <laughs> my name is Derek Hurd, and I'm the founder of this company called Evolution Wheel. We've been around trying to change the market for almost 10 years now. How was that? Fun. <laughs> Brought everything but the tool we need. This is Operation Airless. Operation Airless came from a feeling in our gut that we just had to do something and we had to try. There's been many companies in the last 20 years tried to make airless tires for cars, trucks, vehicles, and everybody's focused on the road. That's not where we wanna go. We wanna solve the off-road problem. The trucks that work underground and never see the light of day in a mine that go 20, 30 mile an hour. Military application where your son or daughter is driving that vehicle, takes a hit from a landmine or a shot, and needs to get repaired and get out of danger and get back home to their family. Or the off-road customer who wants to go rock crawling on the weekend. That's it. Those are our customers and that's what we want to focus on. As much as we're a tire company, we're a technology company first and developing new tech is the thing we think is cool. On the technical breakthrough side, we developed a backhoe tire that we found we could go 25 miles an hour with. No problems for vibration, no problems for heat buildup, and it really improved that machine. On this side, you got guys like me who grew up on a farm. I'm a country boy. Other guys on my team who grew up racing bikes, milk and dairy cows, you name it. And every single one of us said the same thing. How fast can we go? And then hopefully you got brakes to uh, bring it back down. Bring, bring it back down yeah. to a grind. Oh, yeah. okay. So this project is going to be something that people haven't seen. We're going to develop this product and this technology in front of everybody's eyes. We're going to show everybody from the start to the end our development process and how we're developing this project and how we're developing these tires and what we're doing to ensure quality, what we're doing to ensure that it meets certain requirements and standards that we're gonna have. I'm not an engineer. 99.9% .9 of our customers are not engineers. We're simple people, and we wanna show you how we're developing a tire in the most basic way so that everybody can understand. So for impact toughness, well, we're gonna blow the damn tire up. We don't recommend repeating our testing process, by the way. We're literally gonna take that tire on a dyno and go so fast until it blows apart. 63, 64, this is pretty cool. We're gonna go and take and put it on a military Humvee. Why? Well, the Humvee is something that has a portal hub, so it has a lower gear ratio and it can handle our tires. And we're not gonna be afraid to show you our failures because the customer needs to understand what can happen if you go to that point. Hopefully we don't break your machine. <laughs> We're gonna take this thing into a lot of different applications, show you exactly what the tire can do and explain it in a way that everybody can understand because this is tech that everybody should understand. I'm fully prepared to hear many times, why are you doing this? Why do you think you're capable of figuring this out when the biggest tire companies in the world haven't figured it out? At the end of the day, the competitive advantage that we have to figure this stuff out is that we make everything under our own roof. That's really where we can push our quality and we can push our technology forward and test it on stuff like this because I built it. My people built it. Nothing gets outsourced. We do it all. And the reason why that's important is because we can control the quality that we put out the door. We're not trusting that somebody else is making our product to our standard. We know it is because it's my ass in the seat as we're testing this stuff and nobody else's. We know what we produce and we can count on our quality. While we have engineers on our team that help develop our product, they don't drive the company. The company is driven by guys who have boots on the ground and who just want to get something done. We don't know what the box is because we were never taught the box. A lot of times here, we get in fights. Shut up, Mark. Man. Oh, I might need it. You should leave it out. Hey, you need me to show you how to drive that thing? Driving a straight line towards me. <laughs> nice.
not that. Drive in a straight line. This tire wasn't welded properly. Drive away from me in a straight line slowly. Straight line, no, don't I'm just driving a straight line. It's because we want to do something, we want to try something, and we don't know if it's going to work. We know it's going to fail. Let her smoke. The front tire is kind of having a tendency to pack with dirt, and it's not cleaning out as well as we had hoped. And it was, oh, f here goes my phone again. <laughs> Whoa. But guess what? We're gonna fail and we're gonna learn something and then that's gonna get us to the next step and that's how we develop our product. So when we decided to develop this tire in the public eye and show everybody what we were doing, there was a couple of pros and cons that we had to think about. The con is that we can have a competitor say, hey, that's a great idea, we're gonna do it too. But we're not the first to try and make an airless tire for an off-road truck or a car. I mean, we've all seen it. There's so many ideas out there that have been invented, like an engine that runs off of methane from manure, something that runs off of water. So many ideas that come out, you hear about them, they can change the world, and then all of a sudden they're gone. You never heard from them again. Or that person died randomly. Well. I want to live. And when you develop a product behind closed doors, everything's up here. It's in your own mind and nowhere else. If you do it in public, then there's lots of people out there looking at this and help inspire other inventors. Maybe you're working on the same thing at home. I don't know. Maybe you're working on something else and nobody knows about it. But if through this process, we can inspire people to develop their tech, to bring new ideas to market, hey, that's great too. We want our customers' feedback. We want people who are gonna use this, give us feedback and we will make it better. When we get to the end of this, do I think we're gonna be successful? The answer is I don't know, but I hope so. We're a small company, small team, and we're bootstrapping this development as we go. It took us two years to get to this point and now we're here telling the world about it. I'm Derek Hurd, this is Operation Airless, and we are Evolution Wheel. If you have some ideas, share them with us. If you have comments, put them in this video. Subscribe, follow, do all those good things that are gonna help you see this stuff as we develop it and as we push it out. We want you to be a part of this process. No, oh, someone's not, coming with me. I'm not going alone. <laughs> you can cut through the forest. Why, you're wearing Bears camel? are friendly. You're wearing camel. <laughs> There's no bears. It's fine. You'll be fine. At the end of the road, just so everyone knows, that's where my mother-in-law hit her bear. <laughs> that's funny. Like literally with a car. <laughs> <laughs>